everybody, it's Sharon, and today's lesson is Ghirardelli Square. Ghirardelli Square is part of Fisherman's Wharf, San Francisco. It's one of the areas most heavily visited by tourists. It's right on a cable car line, it's near the water, it has a lot of shops and restaurants to offer, and even a hotel. The name Ghirardelli comes from the original chocolate maker that used to have a factory there. Ghirardelli started his chocolate company first in San Francisco in 1852. And by 1893, it had grown big enough that they purchased an old woolen mill to put their factory in, later on adding more buildings to that site. And as the company grew, so did the factory. But by the 1960s, they decided to move the factory over to the East Bay. And when they did that, they were gonna sell the property. And they had a buyer in William Matson Roth. Now, in the meantime, in the 1960s, another factory had been for sale and was demolished and was replaced. Unfortunately, the replacement were two couple of uh, condominiums, 17 stories high, right at the water's edge, that were very out there, very obnoxious. An ordinance came to be passed that said no more of this. The most that you could build at the edge of the water was four stories high or 40 feet high. So back to William Roth, when he built, when he bought the Ghirardelli factory, he knew he couldn't do anything like that, but he had a much more modern approach. He hired Lawrence Halperin, an up and coming Lawrence, uh, landscape architect to help him. And Lawrence Halperin had some really creative and new ideas. He designed a courtyard that would be surrounded by shops and include lighting and benches and even a fountain. He designed a wonderful staircase leading from the street level up to that courtyard and a ramp for disability. He also designed shops right there at the street level and an underground garage under the whole complex. And most importantly, Lawrence did not destroy the factory or the old buildings. He kept them and he repurposed them. And this was the first example of an adaptive reuse in the United States. It came to be mimicked all over the US and all over the world. There was one last decision to be made and that was about the sign. Russian Hill's neighbors had complained about the sign which faced them and was lit up at night. But Lawrence Halpern came up with a great decision, which was, let's turn it around, let it face the water. So that's what happened. And today, the Ghirardelli sign faces the water. If you happen to get to Ghirardelli Square today, there are three shops that sell the chocolate. One of the shops has some chocolate equipment in the back that just shows how it used to be made. But guess what? You can buy them in small squares. Yeah. Ghirardelli Squares. Catch you later. Bye.